Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock Challenge. In the last episode, we went to the Ecruteak Dance Theater and faced off against the Kimono Girls so we can access the Bell Tower and fight off against Ho-Oh. And we beat them all without any deaths. Gugaris, the Goog Man, the Goog Meister himself pulled it off almost all by himself, but not without the help of his partner, Gumbo. And that is awesome. I'm so glad we managed to pull it off. And I'm very thankful that nobody happened to die. And in this episode, we are going to do the route south of Blackthorn, finally, I promise. It will happen this episode, unless somebody dies against Toho, which isn't going to happen. So, let's go this way and let's head to the Bell Tower. I am really excited for this. It's going to be fantastic. Past here is the Bell Tower. This tower was built as a place of rest for Ho-Oh, the legendary flying-type Pokemon. Since Ho-Oh left, many people have gone up the tower to try and bring it back, but none have succeeded in making Ho-Oh appear. Morty, the gym leader, is one who tried. I see, that is Ecruteak's gym badge. This badge alone will not do any good, but I can let you through. Please do go on. So yeah, we need something other than just that critique gym badge to go ahead and make Ho-Oh appear, and it's that item that we got from beating the Kimono Girls. So here we are in the Bell Chime Trail. It's the most beautiful area in the entire game, without a doubt. It looks amazing, and it's just simply just gorgeous. It is on the back of the game, and I remember seeing this when the games first came out and I got them, and they were incredible. I was so happy about it. Oh, yeah. Alright, sorry about that guys, I had to deal with something really quick. So yeah, this place is awesome looking, but you don't get to see it too much, because now we go in here and that's that's all you'll ever see of it. And we are now in the Bell Tower. Really good music here for sure, and you can find wild Pokemon here. The only thing that you can get here as of right now, before you can use the radio to get Pokemon, is Rattata and Ghastly. So it's the same thing as the Bell Sprout Tower. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to get repels wherever they may be there they are so yeah spread a repel really fast and we can scale the bell tower and let's talk to this guy because he's not going to let us up unless we have a certain item that thing you have you've done it please come through uh was i saying the clear bell what was my item what did they give us last of the rainbow wing that's right I was talking about the wrong item. Yeah, we need the Rainbow Wing. The Clear Bell is for Lugia in Soul Silver. So, here we are. Time to scale this place. It's a lot bigger than the Bell Sprout Tower. And it's kind of a puzzle. It's really fun. Well, I definitely really like this puzzle. It's not really a puzzle, but it's. I don't know. It's just a really cool little pathway to take. I like this a lot better than going through Seafoam Islands. Not Seafoam Islands. I like this a lot better than going through the Whirl Islands. I hate that part of Soul Silver. The fact that you need Whirlpool, and in this game you don't need anything, it's really a nuisance. That's why I prefer strongly to play on Heart Gold versus Soul Silver. So if we want to get all the items, which I kind of would like to, I know there's rare candy in here somewhere. You're gonna have to take different pathways. Um, right here is an Ultra Ball, which is really cool. Uh, if we go to the right here, we can get another item, and a ladder takes us somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. Um, here's a PP up, which is really helpful. Be useful towards the end of the game, which is nice. And up here is a dead end. So if we go down that way, it's going to put us back down here. So it's kind of like a little maze, I guess you could say. So let's go to the left here, circle around, get that item, and that should be the correct way to go. It's been a really long time since I've played through this, but over here is an escape rope, which I believe you can use those in here. Alright, I'm going to keep spraying repels. No, I don't want to go to the Poke Gear. Keep spraying repels, power, power my way through here. No, not the Rainbow Wing. Oh man, I'm all jumbled mess right now. I'm trying to spray a repel. There we go. Okay, great. Now let's see. Um, Yeah, alright, so there should be some hidden items in here too. I'm not going to mess with it. Wait. Okay, I went the wrong way. Clearly, I know what I'm doing. I'm supposed to know what I'm doing for these videos, but I don't. Clearly, I do that all the time, but the, the right way to go is the top right. So you don't want to go to the bottom right or the bottom left, because it'll reset you, as we, we saw. So let's go this way. 
and over the other one would have taken us to okay so that would have taken us the wrong, or, wrong way here's a rare candy which is the item that I was looking for actually that took us the wrong way that just took us to get an item okay so we need to go to the right on those uh, so we're gonna need to go to the left no take the middle one down and then go to the left no the right the right way will take you the right way that's a really solid way to think about it uh yeah that should work all right let's go up here just like we did to begin with it's not too long so don't worry about this this shouldn't take the entire episode uh this is just a mere part of it so we go this way and we go to the right there we go all right this is the right way so let's take this ladder and see where it takes us okay so there's still some more to do right here we can grab a max potion that might be helpful oh and if you guys are really excited for me to fight ho-oh <laughs> Um, let's get into that. Uh, don't get excited for me to fight ho -Oh. Remember the Red Gyarados? Yeah, we're gonna do that again. Uh, I fight every trainer, and... Yeah, I make the game hard enough on myself. I, uh, if I don't have to fight ho -Oh, I'm not going to. In a regular Nuzlocke, you can just catch it. But in a Wedlock, you can't catch them because they're genderless. However, in this playthrough, I'm allowing genderless Pokemon, meaning I am allowed to use ho -Oh. But I'm not allowing myself to use Ho-Oh. I'm not allowing legendary Pokemon, meaning I'm not allowed to catch it. So I have to either fight it or take another route. Uh, I didn't actually know you could do this until I um, went back and watched Maryland's episode of it to see what he trained to. I was just curious if he trained everybody up to a certain level for Ho-Oh. And he didn't, so... He did fight it, so if you want an interesting fight against ho you can go ahead and watch that. But as for me, I'm going to take a much, much different approach to ho -Oh. Okay, let's see. Let's go this way. I'm just kind of walking around aimlessly. Okay, so we need... Okay, I missed it. Alright, I want to go onto that teleport pad. So for me to do that, I need to go all the way to the top here and then jump down at the first one. And then go to the left. Alright, so this way, where is this going to take us? To an item, that's it. So what's this item? Is it worth anything? It's a nugget, so I guess it is worth something. $5,000, but other than that, kind of a waste of my time. We've got plenty of money. Um, later on, I'll be able to come back here and get a Pokemon with the radio after we beat... It's like in Kanto, you can start doing that, I believe. And yes, for everybody in the comments asking, I do plan on doing Kanto. Uh, if I get wiped at the Elite Four, the challenge is over. But I will most likely be doing Ho Kanto, not Hoenn. Yeah, I'll most likely be doing Kanto. My team, as of right now, is not really equipped for the Elite Four, so I fear the worst. But we should be able to pull something out of it. Alright, here's a Max Revive. Pretty decent item for selling. Doesn't have any other use in this playthrough. But, um, alright, so this is the only way to go. Let's take this teleport pad and see where it takes us. We should be almost there. Um, I'm going to go around this and get an item over here. No, that just shows you there's an item. Okay, so this is the only way I can go right now. We are making progress. We're almost there. This item is an HP up. That'll be really good. I used that on Gugaris. Um, one of those on Gugaris before Claire. It didn't actually make a difference at any point, but, uh, I, he has an HP up on him at some point, so... Let's grab this item, and then that should be the final teleport pad. And there's a full restore there, which is really good. But we already bought some, because now we can buy them. Okay, this is the final ladder, I believe. We are here, guys. So, for, for, for um, a heads up, I am allowed to catch ho -Oh because I'm allowing genderless Pokemon. However, I'm not allowing legendary Pokemon, so I'm not going to catch it. And here we are. Yes, this is where we welcome Ho-Oh. When the dance we practiced for many days becomes one with the sound of the clear bell we entrusted to you, then Ho-Oh shall come down from the great arc of the sky once again.
That is indeed Ho-Oh, the guardian of the sky around here from ancient times. So many have tried and tried, only to fail. Chroma, your heart, and the clear bell in harmony have finally made it appear. Chroma, don't you see? Ho-Oh must have been waiting for someone like you all this time, wouldn't you agree? You know what? I don't agree. But here goes nothing. Time to face off against the mascot legendary itself of Pokemon Harkold Wedlock Challenge versus Ho-Oh. Let's do this. Let's go, Papa Dumb. Now, you know why I don't agree? Because I'm a coward. Run away. And that's it. <laughs> Goodbye, girls. Anticlimactic, anybody? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that one, but I just don't feel like fighting it. I probably could beat it pretty easily with Bree. Just don't really care about risking it right now. Uh, I know I can go into the dark cave over there. There's some items, but I don't really care about it. We got our encounter here. What I'm going to do is it's going to take minimum two takes to go ahead and fight everybody on this route. But I do want to go ahead and fight everybody. Um, As of right now, I'm going to put Bree up front. And that sounds like something that I'm okay with. And we're going to go ahead and fight everybody. It shouldn't take too long. I do want to clear this route because I like to fight everybody. And this guy says to be prepared for anything. He wants to see if I raise my Pokemon properly. I want to know what makes this guy the authority on raising Pokemon properly. He's he's a Eric, guys. And this guy has a Machop. So, I actually remember when I was first playing through these. Oh, I still have Whirlpool. I forgot about that. I might want to go ahead and get rid of that when I fly back to Blackthorn. Um, but I remember this guy being um, kind of interesting. All of his Machop know no guard. And I remember when I was a little bit younger, uh, I remember I used Fly on it, and he hit me while I was in the air, and it was like, wait, how did he do that? And it was really interesting, and that's when I first found out that No Guard worked like that. Um, that's th for all thanks to this guy, so I guess Hiker Eric knows what he's doing, because, well, he taught me something. <laughs> And it's kind of hard to teach somebody something that's been playing the games for so long. So, when you do, it's, you know, I guess it proves your worth, I guess you could say. So, as much as Hiker Eric has proved his worth, uh, he was no match for the Mighty Derp. So, thank you very much, Bree. Uh, I wish Bree could learn Roar so much. Like, it's funny. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, go watch like the third episode of the series um, called Roar of Time. It was hilarious. It's one of the most iconic uh, ep memories of the entire series so far, for sure. I used an escape rope to get out of the bell tower there, if you're unable to tell. But, oh man. So there shouldn't be too many trainers to fight. I got my encounter here. So, uh, that guy is a Pidgeot. I know that much. So we'll come out around and cycle back to fight him. Oh, that's tough. I can go ahead and grab that. Yeah, I'm trying to do everything in one go. So I guess I'll stick to the right. And we'll just hug the right, and then we'll hug the left the next time. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, so there's a max potion right there. I have no idea what to expect from this girl, but I'm getting Jumpluff vibes. So let's go ahead and lead with Roast. Um, Jumpluff wouldn't be the best Pokemon to fight with Roast, but... Or coleslaw. I don't know. Dang, that's weird. What do you have to say about fighting her, Roast? Are you ready? I'm going with Health Chroma. I'm ready to fight woman. What is your battle strategy? Is it is it foolish to use strong moves indiscriminately? Wow, that's that's some big words, Ace Trainer Girl. It's it's big words, Kelly. Kelly has a Meryl. Okay, I can fight a Meryl. That's fine. And you guys got to keep in mind, I am 13 levels higher. That's why I'm not really training right now. I was kind of checking Maryland's uh, episodes to see what he trained to for each part so I didn't over-level myself. And uh, uh, he had three Pokemon level 48 at this point in the game. Uh, that's a little bit too high for me right now. And yet the uh, rest of his team were very low-leveled. So I normally try to balance everybody out really well. I know he had just had a massacre, and that's why. But if that happened to me, I probably would have trained everybody up right away. It was one of his older series, so that's ex that's um understandable. So I'm just going to try and stay about 
45 before I go into Victory Road. That's a good idea. I know the trainers before Victory Road, like that big route that we're going to take on. Maybe this episode, really. I'm not too sure what we'll have for time. But I know that uh, that area, the Pokemon are about level 33, 35. So they're still pretty underleveled, so we should be fine to take them all down. Alright, so this girl had a Meryl and a War Turtle, which is really cool. I don't know what else she has. Oh, she had two War Turtle. That's pretty cool. I'm glad they weren't Ivysaur. That would have been not that big of a deal, actually. We would have been fine. Alright, thanks for fighting me. Alright, we're going to hug the right. That's the plan for right now, anyways. I believe there's another hiker guy down here. No, a black belt. What do I fight a black belt with? Um, they can't do really anything to Gumbo, but what can Gumbo do to a black belt? This is true. Nothing. So I guess Roast is good. Um, I don't think he'd have him a champ, so there's not really too much he could do to me here. Uh, okay. I was training here alone. Behold the result of my hard work. There's no grass. You're just training on... What, do you, what were you doing? Punching the wall? or Were you having your Machoke punch the mountain? That's probably not really good for your health. Alright, cross chop him, Roast. You are a big Machamp. This is a little Machoke. Slay him. The result of this guy's training was a level 28 Machoke, meaning your Machop just evolved. Congrats. Now go to the Pokemon Center because it's fainted. Yeah, thanks for fighting, Kenji. Yeah, you, you are a very strong black belt. He wants my phone number to remember me by. That's something you'll hear every day. Hey, I want to remember you. Give me something to remember you by. Oh, I'll take your phone number. Yeah, that, that's, ooh, that's a pickup line, guys. Punch the wall, roast. Go. Punch it. <laughs> yeah, it worked for him. Or, or I guess it didn't work for him. Yeah, all right, so we can go up here and grab this item at least. Um, I'm guessing a legendary beast is gonna come. I haven't seen any on camera yet, but I have gotten them. I've gotten both of them off screen. Nothing interesting. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get everything. I'll probably have to fly three times, unfortunately. But hey, I'm allowing to fly, so it doesn't make that big of a difference. Um, yeah. I can't get both of these. I'm gonna go to the right. I'm gonna hug the right like I said I would. I believe there's a hiker here with a golem. I know this guy has a golem from memory. So let's do it with coleslaw. That would be a horrible idea. Let's not do this with coleslaw. Let's do this with Bree. You might be thinking, why is it a bad idea to fight it with coleslaw? Because it can probably outspeed coleslaw and earthquake me in the face. And I would cry. Coleslaw is like the best guy ever. Best guy. She's like my little diva, Rocky babe. I call her my Rocky babe. And she's really cool and stuff, but I don't want her to get Earthquake to the face. She probably would have been okay, but I gotta protect the little Rocky babe. You know, that's what Roast and I do. You know, that's that's our that's our job. She's the queen of the team for sure. Everybody worships her. That's how I picture it, anyways. So, okay, next up is gonna be a Graveler. I almost said next up's Michael. No, not not right now. I don't think there's a Pokemon named Michael. At least I hope not. I know there's not. I'm, not. I'm just talking nonsense. Because that's what you do to commentate. You just sit here and talk complete nonsense. And hopefully it's funny. At least that's how I do it. It, it seems to be working. <laughs> Alright, next up is a golem. I knew he had a golem. Only level 25. What? Why did they feel the need to make these guys so weak? Whatever. I'm not going to complain about it. And, you know, it gave Bree a pretty easy time. Not that it wouldn't have been easy if they were higher level. I still would have swept him. But yeah, great job, Bree, level 42. I'm so surprised Papa Dumb and Bree are still here. I'm very happy about it, but it's surprising. Um, yeah, all right, I took the right path because that path to the left doesn't have any trainers. It just had this guy at the end of it, which I can get from going to the right either way. So, uh, let's fight him with Col Coleslaw, sure. Uh... It can't be worse than the guy I just fought. What do you have to say about it, Corsola? Coleslaw. I got him mixed up for a second. Oh, man. Coleslaw is steadily observing the flow of the river. You want to go for a swim? Jump in. Actually, don't. I would never. I, I'm, I'm not chasing after you. Forget that. Yeah. Sick them, girl. Why do I climb mountains? Because they're there. Why do I train Pokemon? Because they're there. Why am I fighting you? Because you're here. Oh, boy. All right. Let's fight him. Hiker Timothy. 
has a diglet. So this was definitely a good idea. Actually, that that's terrible. I should be able to take a hit from it. I knew it'd be faster than me. It's guys, it's a diglet. Like, let's be real. Let's be for real friends. Yeah, Coleslaw hit him. And he probably has a Doug Trio, which I am not fighting with Coleslaw because I'm probably going to miss. And I'd be devastated if it hit me with something powerful. So yeah, if it's a Diglett, I'll fight it. It's not. It's a Doug Trio. So come on back, Coleslaw. Roast is going to have to do this one. They can't really hit Roast too hard. Even with an Earthquake or a Magnitude 10, I would be fine. Pretty sure Magnitude 10 is the same thing as an Earthquake. So we should be fine. Let's just go ahead and use Revenge. It's going to outspeed me. Oh, you jerk. That's not very nice. It's actually awful. Don't miss. Thank you. Uh, payback would have done more because it would have doubled because I was hit with sand attack. But revenge only doubles if you get hit, I believe. So, either way, I took it out in one hit. It is a Doug Trio, guys. It has, like, no health. That was really cool. I would have liked to get a Doug, Doug Diglett. But they're only, like, 4% chance where you find them. So, it really wasn't meant to be. Okay. Uh, what's up here? We can grab a hidden item at least. There's a peepee -pee up in the grass. Well, in the flowers, I suppose. But, hey, that's pretty cool. Hey, there's a viper in the grass. That's a Sly Cooper reference. I make them all the time. I rarely point them out. You holding something? Of course you are. Everybody's always holding something. My face right now. Coleslaw, you don't love me? I told you guys she's sassy. Give it. We're not doing Brie all over again. You give it here, missy. I am triggered. You are going on timeout right now. Like, I'm never, it's never going to be the same as when Brie did it, but... Colesaw is a sassy little diva. Roast has a handful. <laughs> Glad he's got four arms, right? <laughs> you see what I did there? It's funny. Yeah. All right, so we should be good now. I don't think there's any more trainers on this side. Oh, hey, we're grabbing an apricorn. I haven't made apricorn balls for a long time. I probably won't ever unless I get a flying-type Pokemon. I just... I, I know it sounds terrible, but I'm too lazy to grab my Spearow out of the PC. That's why I've put off doing this area for a while, because I didn't feel like it. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I just, I can't be bothered. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just not doing that. Alright. Um, so down's the wrong way to go left. There are some trainers. Okay, I want to do this in a double battle. Yeah, I should be fine to do it in a double battle, Gumbo Googie. You ready, guys? You ready to do this? Yes! Double battle, let's do it. Why did I purposely fight in a double battle? Don't ask. It, they're weak. It should just make this go quicker. So, yeah, we got a double battle against, um, boy and tree and girl and tree. Ted and Aaron are dating and they're kissing. Yeah. Level 17, are you joking me? Ponyta and Mankey, this is a disgrace. Whatever. Forget this game. I'm gonna bug bite the Mankey and shadow ball the Ponyta. I feel so bad for them. They're gonna get decimated. Decimation from the Goog Man. Oh man, yes. If Gumbo doesn't knock this Mankey out in one hit, I'm going to be officially upset with myself. I know it's not very effective. It's level 17. Thank you, Gumbo. I need to have more faith in you. I just can't. You're an Ariados. Like, when you get Poison Jab, I'll feel a little bit better about you, but... For now, I'm going to always have that doubt in my mind, because you're in an area dose. I'm sorry. That's just how it's gonna be. Gumbo is my man. Like, the Googie and the Gumbo are, like, really long-time team members. They mean the world, but Googie definitely carries that spider on his back, for sure. Yeah, I'll take your number, Aaron. Ooh, it's from Aaron, huh? Sorry, Ted. She's mine. Oh, man, that's gotta hurt. Ted, I apologize. It's a good movie. What's up? What's up, Gumbo? Very composed and sure of yourself? Well, I'm not. I'm glad you're sure of yourself because I'm definitely not. You know what? Gumbo's pulling... Gumbo's pulled her weight. Like, I believe in Gumbo, but she's not the best. She's very frail, but I love her anyways. It takes a lot of protecting, but yeah, I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright guys, back here in Blackthorn City. Oh man, so I went ahead and flew back over here really quick. And uh, I was thinking about getting rid of Whirlpool on Bree. 
I'm actually going to keep it because I believe I can get the TM for Dragon Claw with the Whirlpool on a later area. So if we come down here, we can go ahead and grab an item. Um, and then there's a ledge, but I'm not going to jump down it because there's a guy we can fight to the right. Just wanted to grab this first, so I believe there's nothing else. Yeah, there's the bridge, so we're good. Alright, so let's head all the way to the right and jump down the right ledge. And this guy is a Pidget. I know this much, so I'm going to fight him with Papa Dumb. I don't fight Papa. I don't fight with Papa Dumb nearly enough as anybody else, and I baby him subconsciously. So he needs to fight. Fight a weak pidget. What do you, how, what do you feel about it, Papa Dumb? Everybody's holding something. You give it to me, right? What's this route? No, you can't be mad going into the fight. Why would you not give something to me? I thought they gave it based on friendship. Nobody loves me more than Papa Dumb. It must be really important. Oh my. This is the route of hatred. Oh man, that would be the best name for this episode, but this is gonna. I, it was gonna be about Ho Oh man. That's. That breaks my heart. I can't have you die on me when you hate me. Wow. What are your thoughts on raising Pokemon? Well, apparently you need to not try and take the items they find. Ryan! Oh, not another Ryan joke. Alright, so he has a Pidget. Oh, what? 25? Are you joking me? Whatever. Thunderbolt, Papa Dumb. You might be mad at me, but you're not gonna not obey me. I have eight badges. You're not allowed. It's physically impossible? Yeah, you can... I could beat you. Uh, that took a dark turn. That, that didn't mean it like that, I promise. Whoa, that took a dark turn. An Electabuzz. Holy crap. I could fight him with Papa Dumb. Bree is more equipped. Let's be real. Okay, Electabuzz, level 27. I guess it's a little bit better. This guy's got a cool team. Unfortunately for him, his cool team is all... It's cool and all. You know, you could have a team, perfect team, really cool Pokemon. They're all level 12. You're gonna, you're gonna be questioned just a little bit. Sorry, Ryan. You are not the king. Yeah, great job. All right. Yeah, that was... This route is so boring. I love Heart Gold, but the pacing is terrible, which makes me hate it. Do you feel a little bit better? Papa Dumb's still mad. Everybody's roaring. Oh, man. I don't understand. Like, why... I'm Papa Dumb, time out. No, I need him to fight. All right, so let's go to the left. So, basically... Ooh. Do I need to fight him? No, let's not fight him with Papa Dumb. That would be silly. Let's fight him with Coleslaw. Coleslaw is good. Coleslaw, did your timeout teach you a lesson? Papa Dumb is now on timeout. I can't have two Pokemon on timeout. You feel better about yourself, Coleslaw? There is a stream. Did she just talk? Is there a stream nearby? Oh, she loves me. She's like, I'm sorry, Chroma. Oh, I... Oh, my gosh. I didn't know you could do this. I'm gonna pet her. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, I love it. Coleslaw is the most adorable thing ever. Oh my gosh, I love her. She's the best. All right, let's fight him. My Pokemon are power packed. Uh, what are they? Or are you just talking smack? Perry has an Onyx. You know, it could be a Steelix. No, <laughs> I just have a level 30 Onyx in the Johto region. Not gonna evolve it or anything. Oh boy, these guys got to get their priorities straight. Whatever. Colesaw did a good job. Colesaw did good things. Oh man, uh, I was thinking about this. Um, I, I'm a decent drawer. I'm decent at drawing. And I always wanted to draw my final team, kind of like Maryland does. And I could. I don't have a drawing tablet or anything, so it would be on paper and then I'd have to have somebody vector it. Which would be kind of a hassle. Uh, I would love to do that, but I don't really know how it would look on my layout, I guess. Uh, I didn't do it for Platinum or anything. I didn't do it for Mega Ruby. I love my teams, always. But I love this team a lot more than any other team that I've ever used. And I would love to try and draw them all in my own style. Since other people have been doing fan art, I would love to draw everybody. It's something I'll consider, for sure. Uh, I don't really know. It, it would be also kind of weird 
because I'd draw them and then if they died in Kanto, there would be drawn Pokemon and Trozy sprites. I don't know. It's something to consider. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so I just wanted to point that out. So the left route doesn't really have very many trainers compared to the right one. Just some items to grab, and I don't want to miss anything. This isn't a trainer. Have you heard of a place called the Battle Frontier? Yes, I have. Uh, we're not going to do it in this playthrough. This is not a playthrough to do that on. Oh, is there any hidden items? No, there's not. So yeah, that's all. I believe that's everything. Uh, where does this take me? It takes me there. Okay, where does this take me? Oh yeah, so we fought everybody. Dana, what do you want? Oh hey, good afternoon. What's up? This is Dana. My Flappy's getting prettier. I've been taking tons of pictures. It only took a second to defeat a wild snubble. Oh yeah, this is that girl. That's that girl with the Flappy. <laughs> Never answering a call from her again. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and... I don't think this episode's too long. I think... Oh, I didn't mean to go that way. No! Forget him. I'm done. Never fighting him. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it was a mistake. I meant to jump down there. Now I'm upset with myself. Whatever. Forget this game. Uh, the Repel's effect wore off. Great. So, uh, we're not too far into the episode yet. I think we can do a little bit of the route before victory road and then the next episode of this will be victory road and then the elite four wow we're already here that's mind-blowing to me like just a couple episodes until the elite four that's crazy i i don't even i just hope these six make it that's all i ask that's that's all i want so um some of you might be thinking oh you get a pokemon here right we already got them i got them off screen a, co a couple episodes back I mentioned it. I think I got a shelter here. And I got a Goldeen in the Tojo Falls. I got the rare candy down there, so there's no no reason to go that way. Yeah, here we are in the Tojo Falls. I got a Goldeen, so I think I named it Tilapia, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. All right, let's put Papadum up front. Um, Papadum's the only thing good to fight what's coming up. There's a trainer with... Some pretty powerful Pokemon, so let's just go ahead and put Papa Dum up front there. And we have Waterfall already on Bree, so we don't need to worry about anything like that. Yeah, we're good. Let's scale the Waterfall. It's the first Waterfall that we're actually going to scale that we have to scale. We scaled one to get the Ditto named Calzone last episode. But other than that, nothing too important. Okay, Repels Effect War off again. Great. Let's spray another one. Almost out of Repels. That's not too good. I know we get an encounter coming up, so... It's not that big of a deal. I think I can get Doduo and stuff, which is really cool. I'd love a Doduo. Um, Dodrio is probably one of my favorite flying-type Pokemon of all time. Ooh, a Moonstone. I don't know if we have one of those. I'm sure we do. But back in here, behind the waterfall, there is a little cave back here. This is actually where Giovanni comes, I believe, in the uh, special mission event thing for Celebi. I don't think it's... No, not for Celebi. For... Just a special Team Rocket extra side quest thing. I've never done it, but uh, that's where that's that leads, I'm pretty sure. So, this girl has um, the Bulbasaur line, so I'll fight her. It's rare to see anyone come here. Are you training on your own? You know what? I am training on my own. I'm trying to be the best like nobody ever was. To catch them and train them is my cause. Yeah, I, I, I know the theme song. I'm not stupid. I know all the Pokemon theme songs by heart, but... Yeah, so I love Papa Dumb so I can flamethrower. I don't think she has a Venusaur. I hope she does not have a Venusaur. That would be scary. I believe she has a Bulbasaur and two Ivysaur. So we'll see what she has. If she has a Venusaur, I, I should be able to fight it. But it'll be sketchy. She does have three Pokemon, and that scares me. I don't think a Venusaur could knock me out in one hit. I don't think I could knock it out in one hit either. What? I couldn't even knock out a Ivysaur in one hit? Oh, that's scary. Oh. Oh, that gives me chills. That Leech Seed's gonna stay around, too. Oh, man, I don't like this. Okay, please no Venusaur. Please no Venusaur. It doesn't help having two pairings with a Pokemon on each pair. Four times weak to grass. It doesn't, it doesn't make things easier. Oh, God. Okay. What could it do? It's a Venusaur. Okay. It can't do 120 damage. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Why did that have to hit me? 
It's got the leech seed going. I can't switch. Oh dear god, not these guys. It's a Venusaur. Play this safely. I do have to heal. I'm mean, healing item number one of the fight. I'm mean, gonna use a full restore on Papa Dumb. Oh god. Papa Dumb. Not Papa Dumb. Nobody. Anybody but. Oh my god! Pedal dance! What was I doing? What was I doing? What was I doing? Come on. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. That can crit me and I will be okay. But with the leech seed, I can't. That's the problem here. I don't even outspeed. Okay. I'm gonna use Roost. I'm gonna try and wait until it runs out. Mm, if it crits me. If it crits me. Oh my god. I'm gonna wait for the leech seed to run out. Does that run out? Uh, yeah, it, it runs out. Yeah, my showdown battling has come through for me. Roost. Yes. Crit won't kill. Crit won't kill. Okay, do it. I'm so scared right now. Don't crit me. Anything but. I can't go through this. That's a crit. No, it's not. Okay, Roost. Roost is coming through. Run out, Leech Seed. Run out. Run out. Run out. Run out. Okay, it's not gonna run out. I'm no longer seated. Tell me I'm no longer seated. My heart. <sighs> okay. I'm doing the right play here. Because if it crits me, the Leech Seed will kill. Okay, we're fine. We should be perfectly fine. As long as I'm no longer seated, we should be able to do this. Pedal Dance is not doing that much damage. It's confused. The Leech Seed's still coming in. I should no longer be seated next turn. A Leech Seed and a Crit won't kill me at this point, so I am going to attack now. Hurt yourself. No. Oh, no. Not the Sleep Powder again. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a stall game right now. It can't do enough damage to kill me, even with its most powerful attack. I am fine. I am going to use healing item number two. I'm going to use another full restore. It's confused. Hopefully it'll hurt itself. The leech seed will wear off, and then we can two-shot it with a flamethrower. Or even with the con even with the confusion and flamethrower, that might be enough to do it. Hurt yourself, please. Give me some luck. Yes, great work. Okay. Leech seed run off? No, it's still on. How many turns is leech seed? Random? Like eight, maybe? I don't know how many turns a leech seed is. Crap. Okay, let's do this. Alright, here comes the pedal dance. That's really sketch. A crit will throw me off big right here. That's not a crit. We're good. Flamethrower. Doesn't have thick fat. This is no Mega Venusaur. Oh, this is more exciting than the Ho-Oh fight was. By exciting, I don't mean anything by that. I don't want it to be exciting. I want it to be easy. I'm not losing my boy Papa right now. That would kill me. Okay, we're not risking this. It's stuck in a pedal dance. There's no sleep powder to be had right now. I'm going to use healing item number three. I'm not allowed to heal in this fight after this. I'm going to use a Moo Moo Milk on Papa Dumb. Things could go really sketch if, it's, if it gets confused right away. Like, I want it to stay in the pedal dance because otherwise it could put me to sleep and then we're in trouble. Don't end right now. No ending. I can't have that. Okay. We're fine. We're good. No crit, and this thing's dead. My heart. My heart is freaking racing right now. No crit, no crit, no crit. Good. Kill it, kill it. I don't, it might not, it's gonna be cutting it real close. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god! Papa Dumb's gonna die! <gasps> no! Papa Dumb! No! Papa Dumb! Our leader! Everything that's been here this entire game! My heart is sinking. My fate rests in one thing, and that is it hurting itself. 
That is a 50-50 chance. It's a coin flip. And if it lands on heads, Papa Dom is going to die. And so will Bree. The two leaders of the team will die right here and now. I don't even want to hit the button. I am out of healing items. I allow three per pair. I use two full restores and a Moo Moo Milk. This is nobody's fault. This is a powerful foe. If it does not hurt itself, Papa Dumb will die. And so will Bree. Please, God. Hurt yourself. No! Papa Dumb's dead! Come on, buddy. <gasps> oh, no. Papa Dumbsparse is dead. Bree! <gasps> My God. It's all falling apart right before Victory Road. This is just like another wedlock I did. If it doesn't hurt itself, Bree will die. No. Papa Dumb. No, buddy, he's gone. Please. Yes. Bree! Papa Dumb! What? What happened? It's sleep powder hitting twice in a row. That's all I can say. It drained my items. Papa Dumb! Every adventure I've done on the channel, the team has been led by one normal type Pokemon. Heather the Slacking, Gauntlet the Ambipom, and Papa Dumb the Dunsparce. He died today. He will not make it to the end of the game. He's gone. I don't know what I could have done differently. There really was nothing else. Not using him more, more. Maybe that one level difference might have done it. Bree is here by a miracle. If it did not hurt itself, she would be dead too. And for that, it's hard to be happy in a moment like this. But Bree... Papa Dumb wasn't able to get one of these, and he would have. But you're going to take it in his place. Like a mouse. Oh my god, Papa Dumb. Oh no, he's gone. The one leader of the team. Everybody's favorite. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine about this. How horrible I will feel. He is everybody's favorite and he is gone. My best friend on the team. Riding my bike back here gave me a few minutes to think. It was bound to happen eventually. Nobody has died in this entire challenge from just... It wasn't really bad luck. Sleep Powder has a 25% chance to miss. It hit us twice. And, I don't know why I'm grabbing Nabe, that's always what I do when I come here. I haven't come here to send somebody off for a long time. And I...
prayed that if I ever do come here for that purpose, that it's not for Papa Dumb. I'll be honest with you guys, I love this whole team. But nobody compares to Papa Dumb. He was my favorite by far. And he was everybody in the comments' favorite. This is killing me to do this. But it is time to say farewell to Papa Dumb the Dunsparce. encounter for the dark cave unlikely but I would love Dunspar so much Dunspar's no way no way are you serious that's a one percent chance you're out of no that's like a one in 100 chance no way is this real oh my god I am so sorry to your ears! That fight was ridiculous. I knew what they had. I knew every Pokemon that person had. And I knew on this team the only person that is going to be... Uh, Gugari's would have been better. But look at this, guys. Gugari's level 43. I gotta let everybody fight. Other than him, everybody on this team... Wouldn't have been a good option. Maybe Gumbo. Come on. Gumbo wouldn't have done that great. The best option on the team was Papa Dumb. I baby him so much. And he needed to fight. And as much as I love him. He couldn't prove himself in one big battle. And that was his only chance. If it would have hurt itself. He would have come through. But it wasn't his day to do that. It was Breeze. Bree is still here. And I am very thankful for that. But we did lose the leader of the team. We have to say goodbye to him. I prayed I would never see those words. And he is gone now. Papa Dumb is gone for good. And I need to add a replacement to the team. I don't want to replace him, and I have to. Now, we're going to need to think about this. I need a Pokemon. I need to really give this some consideration. I need a Pokemon that is going to be able to fight the Elite Four. My team was not really prepared for it. 
I need a Pokemon to fight everybody, and right now my main fear is Will, of all things. Three Pokemon are weak to Psychic, and I need a Pokemon that can fight Will. Koga can be dealt with. So somebody that can fight Will and Koga. Karen can be beaten by Roast. Lance can be beaten by... I don't know. This is really hard. I'm going to really consider this team member. And I'll... I'll add somebody new in the next episode. I don't like to put you on a cliffhanger, but I didn't expect this episode to end that way. Bree is now without a partner. And it's killing me. I never thought that I would see the team looking like this. Papa Dumb is gone for good. He will always live on in our memories. And as and with that, I hope you enjoyed the episode up until that point. And I don't know what we're going to do, but I'll I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.